Hey, New Hope family. Thank you for joining us for today's daily devotional. Just want to cover a couple things real quick before we jump into it today. First, I want to say what a privilege it is for us as pastors to provide these daily devotionals. And I hear all the time from people how much you appreciate and value these devotionals. And we want to continue to be a blessing to you. So we're going to continue doing these for the foreseeable future. The second thing is, is that uh, we have been emailing a link to all these devotionals out through our All Church email. Well, if you receive access to the devotionals, if you access them through the email link, then we're asking that you sign up for a separate email list called the Daily Devotional Email List. You can do that in the email that you received today. Just click on that link and say, I want to get the Daily Devotionals emailed to me. Now, if you access the devotionals through Facebook or YouTube, nothing's changing for you. It's all going to be the same. It's just that we're creating it, uh, a separate devotional email list. You can sign up through the email that you received today. Uh, we're looking today at Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, where we're confronted with possibly the most astounding challenge in Scripture, where Paul tells us to be imitators of God. He says, live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. If you go back to, uh, to chapter 4, verse 32, he says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. You see, we're to forgive and to love others just as Jesus has forgiven and loved us. So today I want to talk about God's command to forgive. Paul says you are to be imitators of Christ and forgive just as God forgave you. There's a lot of scriptures, many scriptures that talk about God's forgiveness and our responsibility or our obligation to forgive. Matthew 6, 14 and 15 says, If you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Mark eleven twenty five 25 says, When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Colossians 3.13 says, Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. In the Lord's Prayer, we, we say, uh, And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. Just like Jesus has forgiven you, so you are to forgive others. The basis of our forgiving others is that Jesus forgave us. He forgave us based on his grace, his mercy, and his love. And we're due to do the same for others. Jesus gives us an example of forgiveness, Matthew chapter 18, in the parable of the unmerciful servant. And I want to just read for you this, this, this story. Uh, Jesus says in verse 23, Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him 10,000 bags of gold, or 10,000 talents, was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. The king took an audit and he found uh, one of his employees whose books were way out of balance. It says that 10,000 talents were missing. And that's, that's a lot of money. There's a footnote in my Bible that says, a talent is worth 20 years of a laborer's daily wages. Uh, a talent is 6,000 denarii. A denarii is one day's wage. So a Roman soldier would get paid one denarii for a day's worth of work. So if you do that math and you're working about 300 days a year, that's over 20 years worth of wages. That's one talent. This servant owed 10,000 talents. 10,000 talents. Do the math. That's 200,000 years worth of wages. 200,000. At 40 years of career working, that's the lifetime wages of 5,000 people. It's sufficient to say that this amount was way too much money to pay back. It was going to be impossible for him to pay it all back. So here we have a picture of what God has done for us. We have a debt of sin so large that we could never repay it. it. It would be impossible. You can't be good enough. You can't be rich enough, religious enough, or smart enough. Your debt is, a, is so huge that there's no way that you could ever pay what you owe God to get into heaven. We are so deep in debt that there is no way out except for God's mercy, his love, and his grace. God made a plan to have your sin debt paid for when he sent Jesus to the cross. 
God took your sin, he took my sin, and he placed them on Jesus as he hung on the cross. No greater price that could be paid, no greater payment could be made. Jesus took it all and he paid your debt of sin. Because he has forgiven you, you ought to forgive. We ought to be imitators of Christ and forgive as we have been forgiven. In a day like the day that we live in, we have no greater responsibility than to love, to accept, and to forgive everyone. Just as Christ has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would help us to realize the great debt of sin that we could never pay for ourselves, but you paid it all on the cross. May we remember that great debt that you have paid for us so that we would love and forgive and accept everyone, no matter what, that we would be imitators of Jesus in the way that we love and the way that we forgive. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.